Hi everyone. So today we're going to discuss if digital marketing is a commoditized service. My answer is no, uh, humbly, but we can break down some instances where we've seen it happen. SEO, for instance, uh, yes, there's a technical aspect or formula that can be applied. However, when you're working with a good SEO agency, they're going to have to analyze your website and give you a customized strategy um, based on competitive keywords, uh, your personas, what they're searching, uh, and so forth. So still, still uh, a customized strategy. Uh, web development, yes, there are web developers that produce turnkey websites, i.e., um, basically aka templates that are reskinned for design and that they can be reproduced quite easily it's cost effective for small businesses i'm in however the messaging that you apply and the uh, conversion strategy in which you place the calls to action and what the calls to action say that is a strategic approach because you want to enable your user and their journey in your website which is a lead generation tool to go through their natural journey here is your challenge or, or pain, here's your pain, here's the solution I'm giving you, this is why you need to contact me. Another form where we've seen some sort of uh, commoditization is it within content. Uh, yes, we can basically outsource and do a little bit of box content, if you will. Um, I'm not sure if that's a industry term, it's just coming, coming out, I might have read it somewhere, but box content, uh, basically just kind of, you know, a little more cookie cutter, just get the blog out there, make sure you're keeping that traction for SEO because we're all terrified not to create content and that fear is valid. If we don't create content, then we're not allowing Google to search our website to properly assess if we are relevant to the terms that our potential clients are searching for, right? So content is key. Uh, how much effort and time uh, we need to place into content depends on uh, budget, skill sets in-house, and what are blogs really about, right? Because if you're a forensic accountant, your blog's not going to be sexy and scintillating and no one's going to bookmark it and wait for the next blog to come out, right? You just need to do your due diligence or good housekeeping within your SEO to stay relevant. Uh, but you still need an SEO expert. Uh, where quality content lies and where it will never die is within um, basically content that converts, as I call it, or you know, value-driven content. So anytime we gate something or put a form up and say, Hey, potential client, I want your information, and then you can have the white paper ebook I produced. Well, if you have uh, a writer that's creating more box content and doesn't understand how to tell a story or doesn't isn't rooted in the technical aspect of your industry and what you do, you're doing your client a disservice because you're basically telling them, I want information from you, and I'm going to give you a white paper that was um, basically not the most value for you, right? So you wasted two to three minutes of your potential client's time reading a white paper that's a bit fluffy. So quality content is here to stay. And while it might be niche and expensive, it's still a really great part of any person, any company strategy, any organization to have a really great asset to put on your site and put a form and basically get uh, users information to give them something valuable, right? Uh, so I guess I'll just, I'll just end there. But the at the end of the day, digital marketing, is not a commodity that hits daily quotas. It's a set of tools your marketing team needs to help drive your business forward, help drive growth. And a good strategic partner is going to understand that when you come in with X challenge, there is a multitude of areas within the funnel, um, or if we do closed loop, whatever, however, so many shapes in marketing. Um, but there are a multitude of areas in which we can assess to properly prioritize and plan a roadmap for growth. And that can be in your tech stack, that could be in your marketing ecosystem, you might not be utilizing your skill sets to the best of the ability and you're paying um, outsourced writers to write content when you have somebody in house that could be writing it and they, you just need to be coached in a way to be more efficient in your execution and not work against each other overlap skill sets or overlap tech stack um, and pay and will waste a lot of money. So there you go. Growth is basically an analogy I like. You can't build a beautiful home on a cracked foundation. Growth is about filling in those cracks, having a solid foundation, and moving those camp campaigns forward um, based on proper tracking and data and analysis because one campaign is not going to tell you what you need. You need to constantly be testing and experimenting. So hopefully this was helpful today. Thanks, guys.